Mr. Bones back at you and it is once again Wild Eye Wednesday and what we're going to talk about is 2016's Wolf House. Directed by Ken Costantino and Matt D. Lord and written by Ken Costantino and Elizabeth Houlihan. Starring Jesse Bell as Rebecca Ken Costantino as Joey, Marcus Gancy Rotella as Alan, and Elizabeth Houlihan as Donna. Six friends on a camping trip think they have discovered and killed a Sasquatch, but what they have actually unleashed is something more evil, more ancient, and more deadly than they could ever imagine, an army of supernatural terror that will hunt them till no one remains. So what we have here is a shot on video movie about six friends going on a camera trip at a cabin and they enjoy filming every bit of their life. There's two of them that are filming was well, just one and then another one puts on like a GoPro on his head or something. but. It starts off as a slow burn, watching them travel to and meet up with their friends at this cabin or house or whatever, and you're watching them, you know, live their life and joke around and mess with each other and crack jokes, and two of them like to pick on a smaller one. I guess they used to go to school with them, and they've always picked on him, and he's not too fond of that. And uh, there's a one scene where this guy shoots something because he said it was coming at him and they think they well when they first showed it kind of looks like a dead bear because it's laid over and one of them keeps calling it a Sasquatch and they decide they're gonna put it on top of their car with a tarp and take it home and call the authorities or you know I think they said appropriate authorities or something and while they're they put it in the garage with a tarp on it and go into the kitchen and while they're talking it gets up and then chaos ensues I suppose they don't know where it went and they're sitting there talking in the living room and all of a sudden these hairy claws come up and grab one of the guys and carry it up the chimney. And then one of the girls runs out the front door and then one spears him. Spears the girl like Goldberg. You just see a flash of fur spearing her and kills her. So that's two of them dead. This movie... I don't know what I thought of it. Like, I partially enjoyed it. Like, the acting was okay. But the acting the acting of the human characters doesn't outweigh the badness of what they're running from if you can't believe that they have a real threat. Like, I mean, they do and in their minds of the movie makers but the creature creation is horrible it looks horrible in my opinion there's one scene where one of the werewolf things is walking around the kitchen looking for a guy that's hiding under the sink and you can straight up tell that it's someone in a suit like the way it's person's hands is bent down and it's walking and the suit is horrible. It looks like a mix between a gorilla and a 
sewer rat and a fucking snuffleupagus. I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? It's got really long fucking legs that are bent all weird. And then the head, it sort of looks like a werewolf at one time. And then when it turns, at certain points, it kind of looks like a large hairy sewer rat. And in this story, I had a hard time following. I didn't understand. They bring this thing home. They got these weird arachnid werewolf monkey things, sewer rat creatures. I don't know what the fuck they are. But then all of a sudden, there's these like pale, uh, like tribe people. No one mentions these in any of the reviews I checked out. I don't know where they come from, what they are. And they're like breathing all deep and hissing at the people and trying to kill them. So, yeah, tack on the fact that it's a shot on video and I'm not a fan of that. So, if you like shot on video or anything that I've mentioned, check it out by all means. But I don't think I'll be rewatching this. And that is what I watched. Peace.